Sniper Rally. A bit of a slog this one, but you use a human rifle like the DMR or BR, because you got infinite ammo for those, and take your time. You'll be fine. Welcome, I'm RC and this is Spartan Ops on Legendary Solo. This is episode 1, Departure and chapter 2, Sniper Alley on the map, Sniper Alley. As I said, the main strategy for this is use your DMR, that's personally my favorite. You can use a BR as well. There are a bunch of crates hidden throughout the whole mission. Well, not even hidden, they're actually just right there in front of you. Inserting you into a covenant held area the marines have been throwing themselves against and no that'll give you free ammo infinite ammo for all your human weapons so you can even have a pistol if you want but i would recommend the dmr over the pistol so here are the boxes this is what they look like infinite ammo now i did this really early on so i didn't have a lot of the things unlocked so i've actually got like dexterity on and a jetpack Jetpack helps a little bit towards the end, helps you get up on top of the rocks, get more angles on the enemies towards the end there. Because there's quite a lot in that end canyon. Other than the jetpack, probably regenerator is your best bet. Maybe you could use Promethean Vision, I don't know, I haven't really tried that one. It's mostly just about working your way through the enemies. And since you've got infinite ammo for your human weapons, well, you might as well use your human weapons. Keep your distance. It's quite tight when you get around onto the ground level in this level. So, especially with the elites, they can damage you really quickly, like that one is. Ah, yeah. This guy likes to jump up and attack you. That's the drop pod he came out of. So be aware of that. Man, I keep forgetting to turn off notifications. So, you can take this more aggressively, obviously. Be aware there are a lot of enemies packed into a very tight area. So I'll just be careful. There's more ammo just ahead there. So you don't even need to backtrack. Oh, some buttons you're going to have to punch, unfortunately. Going to be some snipers on that ledge ahead of you. So be aware of them as you take out the jaggles. There they are. And again, if you wanted, you could obviously have something like camo. And that would help you peek around these corners and take them out before they see you. There's more than just that one guy. Man, I really hate not having theatre. Because I always used to do my recording and my gameplay separate. Now I have to do them at the same time. Oh well. I think I have actually got a plasma pistol in backup here. But again, like you've got so much ammo, you might as well use the range to your advantage. And just pump lead into them. In co-op the strategy doesn't differ at all. Just have people posted at more angles, put more lead on them quicker. And obviously you've got two buttons at this stage that you're going to have to press, so obviously send one person to each one. Take it slow. A couple more grunts to my left I think. Oh, and an elite. So now I'm at this range and he's on his own, going to use the plasma pistol this time. Getting a bit low. Now as you can see my maximum ammo is 42 spare rounds there. That's why I like to have the ammo perk. Here obviously you can see some of the enemies before you deactivate this shield. So I like to take them out in advance. Don't have to think about them later. I mean why not? No, oh, didn't do the animation that time. A bit weird. Probably should have remembered that I had jetpack. 
That was pretty dumb of me, to be honest. Whoops. That Jekyll still there. In fact, I'm completely out, forgetting I have jetpack. That's how used I am to having other things. This Phantom's pretty mean. Shooting his concussion rifles at you. He's got two gunners on either side. Sometimes there's an elite on the gunners as well. And then some of the elites will come up to you. But you can use these stairwells to ambush them with a plant pistol overcharge. They're no problem at all. They always seem to like coming up this particular stairwell, not the one on the right. Don't know why. Maybe it's just because I'm standing here. Nothing too complicated about this. this weeks ago now actually extra plasma pistols in here picking up a needler because there's gonna be some elites that are coming at me these ones are very aggressive out of this drop pod they got fairly weak shields because they're ranger ones but there's some sword elites that are coming at you needler is just an easy kill whoops got a little bit close Watch out, because that thing that's off to my left there does actually explode if you put enough damage into it. Just don't think it's indestructible cover, because it's not. A bunch of my enemies dropped down there, including some sniper jackals. So be very careful of them. Keep your head low, don't be jetpacking up to too many high heights. One of them on their own is not much of a threat, but a couple of sniper jackals, one shot each, you're dead. So be careful. Looking for those jackals. There they are. I mean, caught because there's so many of you, you can put so many rounds into them. Even on Legendary, you can do it. Probably six minutes easy. Fair amount of enemies. This ended up taking me quite a lot longer on solo. Picked up a storm rifle and I was like, yeah, no, plasma pistol all the way. Jackal's still alive, there they are. Just wondering if any of these enemies are going to come up and attack me. Always like using the height advantage. Now, beyond these rocks, there's a whole bunch of enemies. Oh look, and here's another infinite ammo dump. Now in this valley, once you get down there, there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies. Whoops. Even before I get down there. There's going to be some enemies that spawn when you get there. And then there's going to be some more enemies that come in on a phantom, I think. So, off to the right. Some sniper jackals. Careful of them. First priority. There's another sniper over by this turret. And then you'll want to take out that elite on the turret as well. See, there's the phantom. Bunch more enemies. There's only one way up. And they are going to have to come up to you to fight you. I found in another mission that's also on Sniper Rally that if you go up on this little 
sloping rock to the left of the exit to this area there that that would actually lure many of them into the area and then you could take them out sort of one by one not sure if that works here try it out I ended up jetpacking up onto this much higher ledge and obviously I'm almost completely safe up here just peeking out looking over shooting anything I can see just double tapping all those jackals enemies are actually invincible until they jump out of those drop pods so it's wasted rounds if you shoot them before then unfortunately what I love most about this ammo drop is that it's right in amongst a bunch of enemies so I can't really access it without putting myself in danger especially on legendary good job infinity good job but again you've got infinite ammo you can just go back and get it absolutely no problem because got such a high advantage don't even have to worry about those Fuero guns again just a little bit of a slug this mission so I'm running out grabbing a bit more ammo then I'm gonna go back up there rinse and repeat Feasibly you might be able to run in there, grab say the rocket launcher and then go left towards the end of this little canyon. There's some rocks there that should provide some good cover. Oh, he's got a little interested. Ah, oh, might have plasma pistol. You can go get another one, or you can pick up his sword. Doesn't really matter to me at this point. Unless it's another sword elite or a fjord gun. Quite happy jumping down there to use a sword on them. But most of them should stay back. And that means we're pretty close. I don't know what he thinks he's going to do with a sword down there. Should use his jetpack to get up to me. Silly Lee. Ah, oh, again, rinse and repeat. <laughs> this is why you use a human weapon because you get the infinite ammo caches. Light rifle, not a good idea. Carbine, you'll get some ammo, but you'll run out eventually. DMR or BR, just own them all day. Oh, stuck him in the face. Yeah, is that all of them? When I was playing this, I didn't realize a tiny little red indicator on my hood. Don't know why I went all the way over there. Just play around with these weapons that I didn't get to use on the actual enemies. So you have to go punch this generator now to designate a target, which makes a lot of sense to me. And then uh, get out. And then the pelican will come in for you pretty much where I'm standing already. Bombs away. So, that's it. Spartan Ops Episode 1, Chapter 2, Sniper Rally, Legendary Solo, without deaths. Not a particularly hard one, like I said, just have to cut through a lot of enemies, which is a, kind of a chore on Solo. Much, much easier if you've got some buddies. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. 14.04, that was my time. If you've got annotations turned on, there'll be a link to the previous chapter on the left and a link to the next chapter, the challenge, on the right. I'm RC, and I'll see you next time.